Here's the truth of the matter. The word Kabbalah, you're right, it has evolved into deep, dark, uh, mysterious, magical, mystical, uh, you, you know, even, even pagan and demonic beliefs, things that God's Word says, don't do this, don't do this. And there are elements of Kabbalah that do it. Now, what do I compare this to? It's, it's, it's like various flavors of Christianity, though, various denominations. There are a lot of Jews that don't get into that at all, and they uh, are, are just as against Kabbalah as you and I would be. There are others that just go part way into it and say, well, we just take the good stuff. And there are some good things that are actually in the Bible. Now, the Bible doesn't support Kabbalah, please hear me. The word, the word Kabbalah is is it depends on how you define it. And I'm not trying to play games with the word. This is just truth. I will prove it to your audience. The word Kabbalah is a Hebrew word, and it simply means um, to reveal a, a mystery revealed. Okay. Well, how many times does Paul say, "Behold, I tell you a mystery." Behold, the mystery of God is this. Behold, the mystery of the the uh, the gospel is this. Uh, um, um, Behold, I tell you a mystery. At the sounding of the last trumpet, we will all be changed. Uh, behold, the mystery of God is Christ Jesus. So he's, he speaks of mysteries, mysteries, mysteries being revealed in Christ Jesus. Now, we don't have a problem with that, but the word is Kabbalah. And, and, and so, but that's, it's just a word. And Paul was an Orthodox rabbi. You got to remember that. He was out killing Christians when Jesus stopped him. You know, that's another thing. People say, well, I don't believe God would reveal himself to Yitzhak Kaduri. He was a Kabbalist. Well, he revealed himself to Paul, who wrote one half of the New Testament. I mean, come on, folks, put your thinking cap on. Um, but anyway, so, but but you're right. Over the hundreds and well, thousands of years, it has evolved and evolved and evolved, and it has turned in, you know, they've got their own books, the Zohar and some other books. That, that get into mysticism and, 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 and so people have taken it to extremes.